You know what I love about the Northwoods? When the temperatures drop up here, people come out to play. And that is what winter in Wisconsin is all about. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. This is an anthem For those who look for more And I will say they've seen it all Windows down Let's take a ride The Grandlands Grave Tonight Whether you're Looking for an action-packed adventure or snowy retreat, there's nothing quite like winter in the Northwoods. Today we're taking you to three of our favorite winter destinations, Phelps, Conover, and Land O'Lakes. First up, the town of Phelps, which is located in the northeastern corner of Vilas County. With over a thousand acres of lakes, Phelps has some of the best fishing in the state. And as a novice ice fisherman myself, I'm learning the ropes from one of the best in the business. We are in Phelps, Wisconsin on North Twin Lake, right? I'm here with Colin Crawford, professional fishing guide. I've not ice fished in a while and I certainly have never done this part of it. What do I gotta do? Well, this is a propane auger. It's not a gas and oil mixed auger, so it's not gonna get stinky all over your hands and your clothes. Mm -hmm. It should start first or second pull at all times. Um, grab a hold of the handles. This looks heavy. <laughs> pull on your handle straight out from you. Okay, you're not gonna hold on? And I'll right hold here. on to it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> there you Woo! go. Hold oh, on. Now hit your throttle. Follow it down. Push. There's your hole. I'm really happy. <laughs> we gotta do five more of those? We gotta do about 30 of these. What? <laughs> How's the workout? <laughs> so we got our tip up, got a hole cover, our scoop, minnows, push the slush away from the hole. This must have been the hole I drilled. Uh, that was from the <laughs> professional hole driller that we had. <laughs> this is our tip up. This is our braided line. We got a swivel here with some fluorocarbon leaders tied onto it. So what is the no. advantage of doing tip-ups versus jigging? Is there a huge difference? Well, no, it's just that there's more opportunities to catch fish because you can only jig with one rod at a time, right? So you might as well have two, two other baits in the water while you're jigging. And while you're jigging, you watch your tip-ups. Now, this is a golden shiner. Oh, that's so cute. You want to hook your minnow right in front of the dorsal fin, and you want to put them in the water, and you want to look at him. Make sure he swims around like that. If you want him as lively as you can get him. Then you'll set your tip-up up. Come on, walleyes. Colin, I sense that you have been ice fishing for a long time. Well, at least 18 years I've been up here, but another, you know, I'm 54 years old, so I think I was born and raised on water. Um, so yeah, I imagine 50 years I've been doing some kind of fishing. What do you think it is about the Phelps area that draws ice fishermen from afar? Oh, I think just uh, the clean water, the good fishing. We have all sorts of different lakes. Um, we have fertile lakes, we have weedy lakes, we have rock lakes, so if they're not biting on one lake, in, in Phelps you can find them on another lake. And if the fish aren't biting that day, don't worry. I hear food. Food's coming, food's on its <laughs> way. Hi. Hi guys, we ordered food. Yeah, we, food. we did. Excellent. What'd you bring us? Oh, we got <laughs> some Rubens, we got a Friday fish fry going. All right. Nice. This is service. So I'm originally from Milwaukee where there's a lot of Irish pubs and uh, a lot of theme pubs uh, coming to the North Woods. There aren't too many and I thought it was a great opportunity to open up something that's different and unique. A friend of mine does a lot of ice fishing. He asked if I could deliver out in the lake and I have a real nice snowmobile and that's how it all started. It's mostly based on appetizers and burgers, sandwiches. I love coming here every day. Every time the phone rings I hope it's a delivery to go out on the ice. Ice fishing is certainly a big part of Northwoods culture, and every year they host the Great Northern Fishing Tournament. And I'm sure these guys are catching a lot more than I did. We've been doing this since 1986. The tournament involves contests in the morning, contests in the afternoon for each of the species. It's not a super competitive tournament, it's more of an annual event. And so people come here to have a good time. 
I'm actually from Chicago, but I'm up visiting. I came up here to the ice fishing derby with my husband and his family and some of his friends. It's my first time. It's really nice. It's kind of cold today, but otherwise it's beautiful. I'll definitely be back next year. I love ice fishing better than summer fishing. I've been coming to the Phelps Lions Club tournament for 29 years. They've been running it for 30. I enjoy myself and the kids come with me and we have so much fun here with all the different friends that we have come with us since then. And we have, well, we've been fortunate enough to win some of the prizes. After a long day on the ice, it's time to warm up. So I'm headed to the Gateway Lodge in Land Lakes. When I think winter retreat, I think that log cabin feel, big furniture, a fireplace crackling in the background. This is winter perfection in my mind. This is probably the biggest fireplace I have ever seen. It is one of five in Wisconsin that people need to come and see. But in the winter, it is so wonderful to sit by the fireplace and just have a cup of coffee or a glass of wine. We have all kinds of taxidermy things on the walls that make it feel like that North Woods feeling. People say they love coming here because they feel like they're at home. We have families coming here, we have couples. From generation to generation, we have people that come back here. One of our slogans is, come back to tradition at the Gateway Lodge. I like that. Find out the best places to fish in Phelps by going to discoverwisconsin.com and choosing Blizzard Blast in Vilas County as your destination. Coming up next, Eric hits the trails in Land Lakes. Wait on each ski so we're ready to handle anything that might kind of be thrown our way. Are things going to be thrown our way? Stay with us. Welcome back. We're here in Vilas County having a blast in the snow right here on Discover Wisconsin. Ah, hey. Greetings from Michigan. Actually, greetings from Wisconsin. But actually, greetings from Michigan. I'm at the BP-76 Gateway in Land O'Lakes, Wisconsin, which was actually built across the state line. You can buy Michigan lottery tickets over here, Wisconsin lottery tickets over here, because this light line of tile right here is the state line. So, Wisconsin, Michigan, 715-906. State Capitals, Madison. State Capitals, Lansing. Packers. Packers, that's the important part. This area is home to the Ottawa National Forest and there's miles of trails to explore. And one of the most popular sports up here? Yep, dog sledding. Every year, mushers from all over come to Land O'Lakes to compete in one of the biggest events of the year, the Three Bears Sled Dog Races. I am the trail boss. The trail boss takes care of and makes sure all the trails are in safely, they're marked right, and we've got all the gates covered for where they'll be crossing roads or snowmobile trails. This year we have 72 mushers. We've got a two mile, we've got a four mile, we've got a six mile, and we got an eight mile. We've got skidoring where they'll have, they'll be on cross country skis with one, two, or three dogs pulling. We have the craft show over at the school. We're a nonprofit. So everything we make as far as the three dogs sled race goes back into the race for next year. It's just a good midwinter event and it's something to do and it helps the community. This is a risen sled. It's made in lower Michigan. Okay. Uh, weighs approximately 28 pounds. Okay, so it's nice weighs. and light. This evil looking thing is called your snow hook. Wow. This is basically <laughs> your parking brake. Okay. It's now, like an anchor on a ship. <laughs> exactly. Now, if you have to stop for any reason, uh -huh. this is your brake right here. Okay. You would step on this brake. It would dig into the snow. You would take this hook, jam it in, step on it, and that will hold your team. This is called your line. My line. And we're only going to run two dogs because you are a beginner, so we're going to start you with two. So we're going to take the sled and you and the two dogs down there and start you. Okay. Wish me luck. <laughs> Looking for something a little more low key? Land O'Lakes has over 75 miles of snowshoe, ski, and hiking trails. They're kept in prime condition thanks to the Land O'Lakes Fish and Game Club. And since they're on National Forest land, they're free for the public to use. 
So I'm here with Joe, we're in Land Lakes, kind of dancing across between Michigan and Wisconsin here. Yeah. Now, Joe, we're gonna do a little cross-country skiing on these trails. I haven't done this often, so assume as many people do that I know nothing. Okay. Our poles we want down loose by our sides too. So down by our hips, by that our hips. brings our body down. Okay. And think about skiing like a gorilla. You know how we have long arms. Nice and relaxed, this is where we want to be. Wait on each ski so we're ready to handle anything that might kind of be thrown our way. Are things going to be thrown our way? Snow might come off a tree. It might it's be like, like a Super like Mario a Brothers game or something, <laughs> okay. Our goal is to press the ski down in the snow and then spring forward. So little by little, just, just slide our skis to begin with. Boy, the Land Lakes trails are really unique because they're on National Forest land, so they're public. Public land, public forest, and people can come out here and ski whenever. So this gives you a variety of experiences right from the parking lot. If you go east, if you go west, you have a gentle landscape, you have a more challenging landscape, one that twists and winds and goes up and down kind of on a little series of hills. So that variety is fantastic. For a map of all the scenic trails in Land Lakes, head to discoverwisconsin.com and choose Blizzard Blast in Vilas County as your destination. Coming up next, there's more than one way to get around Vilas County. Abby's putting the pedal to the metal. Stay with us. Welcome back to Discover Wisconsin, taking you to some of our favorite places to play in the winter. Well, I'm all bundled up here at the Thunder Bay Resort in Feltz with Rochelle. Rochelle, can you tell us a little bit about the resort? Sure, we're a Northwoods resort. Um, we cater to, in the wintertime, snowmobilers and ice fishermen. Um, we, might, we like to make this your one-stop shop. When you get here, if you need snowmobile rentals, if you need a snowmobile delivery, if you need gear, etc., we like to make sure that once you get here, you don't need to go anywhere else for anything. We are right on the trails. You can pop on your sled right out your cabin door, hit the trails, and go for literally hundreds of miles. What makes Phelps the best place for people to go snowmobiling? The work of our groomers, they're out every day and every night, really working hard to make our trails the best that they can be. And it's just the people, the people along the way and the people at the stops, it just makes it a great experience for everyone. There's a lot of local area eateries and establishments for people to stop by and warm up at. So fun, are you ready to hit the trails? I'm ready, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> There are 150 miles of groomed snowmobile trails between Land Lakes, Phelps, and Conover, and they'll take you to just about anywhere. So we decided to stop at Maple View Resort in Conover to warm up. Thanks so much. This will warm me up, huh? Wow, that looks nice. Well, Jerry, tell us, what's Maple View Resort all about? Well, Maple View is about tradition. We work real hard to keep the Northwoods Lodge effect Absolutely. in here when you walk in. We have a lot of mounts and reflecting a lot of wildlife and the view overlooking the lake is just, you can't beat it. So the trail is right on the lake here. It's right, right next to your business. Yep, it comes in off the lake and it exits off the lake. So, well, we depend on the lake to be frozen. Right, right. But it's, uh, it's kind of cool. Instead of coming in by boat or car, we come in by snowmobile and all, all the business owners work real hard to make it some of the best snowmobiling in, in the state. Absolutely. The scenery, the wildlife, you get it all up here. You see an eagle when you're driving down the trail or scare up some deer. Or, yeah. It's, it's fun. It's be really beautiful. Snowmobiling is a way of life in the Northwoods and the town of Land Lakes has some of the best snowmobiling in the world. If you're feeling the need for speed, then you're not going to want to miss the Frosty Club Radar Run. This is our radar run, and it's a benefit for the Frosty Snowmobile Club. It's one of our biggest and best all snowmobiles get a chance to run the track and see how fast they get to go. It's a good time and a great day uh, with all the food and the outside ice bar is pretty cool. 
Okay, I'm ready to have a special Frosty Club Radar Run Bloody Mary. Show me how. All right, so our first step is the vodka. Okay. So you pour in the vodka, about a three count. All right. How does that look? Perfect. Good? All right. Next step is our Bloody Mary mix, best camp specialty. All right, so you're gonna tell me what's so special about this Bloody Mary mix? Unfortunately, it's our secret recipe, so I can't give that away. Maybe we'll after have we have a some. couple Bloody Marys, you'll <laughs> tell me? Okay, cool, so that's done, now what? Last step is the garnish. So we have some olives, asparagus, mushrooms, a pickle. Pickle. Lime and lemon. Woohoo! Cool. Well, hey, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Follow us on Snapchat to see behind the scene pics of the DW crew. Coming up. So, how are you feeling right now? Are you scared? Sam, <laughs> come. We're back on Discover Wisconsin, and right now we're at the Northwoods Blizzard Blast in Vilas County. What is the Northwoods Blizzard Blast, you may ask? It's a giant celebration of all things winter, held every President's Day weekend in Conover. There's an ice sculpting competition, sleigh rides, dog sled dash, and even ice bowling. And don't forget archery. So, what I want you to do, mm -hmm. Aaron's gonna snap in here. Okay, so it snaps, okay, so it snaps in here. Yep, all right. sits on the rest. Okay. Spread Gloves your fingers off. out. Gloves off, please. Okay. Okay. Hold down here with the left hand. Okay. Nope. And Spread your hand. Put them like that. Like that. There you go. Okay. Elbow up. Elbow straight back. Like that. Yep. And then elbow I'm going back. At the deer. Elbow back. More. Front. Okay. Ready. And let her go. You got it. Right in the neck. Right in the neck. <laughs> One of my favorite events at Blizzard Blast was snowshoe baseball. Now, I used to play softball growing up, but snowshoe softball is a little harder than I thought it was gonna be. All right, Grand Flam, coming for ya. Oh, crap. Okay, it is now time for the main event. The moment everyone has been waiting for. The recliner races. So how are you feeling right now? Are you scared? Sam, come. <laughs> Sam, come. <laughs> Go! Eric, I'm really rooting for you. <laughs> From ice fishing and snowmobiling to dog sledding and recliner racing, <laughs> there is nowhere in the world quite like the Northwoods. <laughs> For more information, behind the scenes pics, and past episodes, head to discoverwisconsin.com. Continue the adventure by following us on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Discover Wisconsin Radio. Hey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well done. All right, who's next?